Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing, man. And check this out. Have you ever seen a lake look so dead come good early in the morning, man? I mean, not a ripple on the water other than small bait fish coming up to the top here and there. But uh, without any further ado, man, I'm going to get in the water, work the shoreline a little bit, and then fish my way out to the area where I'm going to target crappie. All right, get back with you guys when I get launched and get on the fish. I'll get y'all some shots of him when he get his kayak out on the water. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> TCT. <laughs> I got to say that right. I got TCT rolling with me, y'all. And uh, I'll get some footage of him in the kayak when we get out there and get on the water later. We ain't doing this thing this morning. It out to him, he came and answered the door. Eating that silver up, man. Crop the fishing 101, y'all. <laughs> Better get with the program. Class is in session. Hmm, I knew he would. Solid this morning, man. I mean, good old healthy solid fish. I ain't had a throwback yet. <laughs> God, dog. Man, they just eating that bait up. Drop up, drop up, drop. If I get them on them, they respond. They wake up now. They were kind of dormant this morning. They seem to be getting a little step in their step now. <laughs> Those fish are out here at this angle, and I pitched over there and let that bait come back through them. Don't nail it. I mean, presentation rules the nation, man. I, I don't know what more to tell you. You know, of course, you gotta, you know, you need them hard hitter hand ties, man. If you ain't got them hard hitter hand ties, you ain't gonna be able to do this. Don't try this at home. Hey guys, a hard hitter here with over 45 years of fishing knowledge that I share with fellow fishermen all the time. Check out my new channel upgrades where I've got you covered with all things fishing, saltwater, freshwater, and mostly on artificials. 
one of the most educational channels out here, guys. And don't forget to get them hard hitter hand ties and click on the link tree link to access my online store where we got everything fishing. Cups, hats, shirts, jerseys, just about anything you can think of. All right, appreciate the business. Eating, when I say eating, they are eating the baits up. Thanks for watching and for dropping in. And remember to always stay hooked up. That's with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why I tell y'all about that floro. I mean that that suffix advance. Suffix advance, man. Look at the head on that. Oh. <laughs> Come on over here. Come on. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down. Lay it down, lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Lord, it me. Slight water in the year. That's nice. God, uh, man. Now you see why it was hard to lead us. <laughs> God, dog, man. Look at that. <laughs> hey, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hold it. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab. <laughs> man, you up there talking. Keep talking in the mud. Whatever you're talking about, the blur. All of those different things are going to get you to where you're putting up the numbers, man. And. It's a beautiful thing when it all comes together. So just keep working on your skills. You keep the best thing to do is time on the water. You know, that's that's a key factor. You out there putting in the work, you're gonna get familiar with your unit. You're gonna be more successful. And get slabs like that, man. You know, beautiful fish. No marking, just a beautiful, beautiful cropping, man. And the box already looking ridiculous, you know. So it's just a uh, fight, please say, man. Do the right thing, and you'll have the success to go along with it. Ice down good. Get back over there to the buoy into that tree. I like that presentation I was able to show you guys right there. I mean, step by step. I mean, I couldn't do no more than put the crappie on the on the hook for you almost, you know. It's just uh, it's what I want to do. It's the, you know, the, the whole purpose of my kayak fishing group, my my jigs, my my channel is to have everybody be successful, you know, as much as possible, man. So you're gonna see me working real hard to do that for a long time here.
big old. <laughs> oh my God, dog. I went on and flipped him. I ain't take no chance. I ain't got the camera on back there. This is a good one. Nice fish. I'll worry about it later. Down at the bottom of the tree, he ate it, boy. I mean, ate it. I went down to the bottom of the tree, and he ate that thing, man. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> it's the only pop in the day. Well, most every day I get out here with these hard hitter hand ties. I keep telling y'all about them hard hitter hand ties, man. Legendary. <laughs> They, get, they make them bite it till they bleed, boy. Mm -hmm. Ate that thing. Go to another tree, I see. Oh, I gotta drop in between them two trees here. Come here. Drop in between them two trees, he's gonna eat it. Yeah, good fish. Go straight to the cooler fish. Dang, I need to get back up there. I got one boy out. Man. If they ignoring you for a long period, Jerry, not doing nothing, just shoot out again and go to another tree. Here you come. Mm. Dang. I got missed ever. Do it again. Bet you won't do it again. Mm-mm-mm. Didn't need to miss that hit. He's following it now. He ain't going for it. He missed that zip. You ain't getting on another shot at. Let me go over here. Boy, that wind doing this little thing again, that's what trying to work me. I think I got him this drop. Yep, he already on now. God, I'm sitting there waiting on the bite. That fish is swimming with it. I dropped it right. God. Pulling up on the first tree here, guys. That's what I just named it. I label it first tree. It's right up out of the launch here. And it looks like some pretty good fish on it. So I'm gonna try to get it right. 
right in here and get right to work. Fourteen foot out. Oh, the fish are already taken off from it. Pitch out too. Like that. Almost stand back and pitch up. Back and back. First drop, first fish. Just like that, y'all. As soon as I pitched out to him, he immediately responded. Make quick work of this, y'all. I'm going to click the clicker today. I'm not just going to throw fish in the box. Right. Pull back up there. I may go ahead and drop a buoy on it. Save myself a house. That's what I'll do. I'll throw a buoy just a little ways out in front of it when I get up there this time. And still be able to fish it. Yeah, got plenty of fish on it. Eight foot out in front of me. So I want to throw this buoy a little ways out past it. I got this silver and chartreuse on, and those fish are on that tree, just holding tight down around 10 foot and 13 foot of water. So they're not super aggressive first thing this morning, and so I'm agitating them a little bit at the same time, just the right presentation to get bit mainly. And uh, you know, marking my brush pile where I, I can have a general reference when I get ready to try to go back to it. And just knocking off some good quality fish to start my morning off. So, that's two real nice fat fish right there, y'all. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm not going to have that problem again with losing fish. My other cooler was bad, but I've taken care of that problem now. So, get back up there. Keep plucking at them. See how many we can get out of this one pile. I almost lost it. You know why you can't see me? Because that's a morning slab, a summertime slab. Just like that. Fish number five. I didn't mark that tree, so I need to shoot out. I marked the tree over there at first, and then I was leaving from over there where Osa is at, picking up my water jug. I finally got my water jug, y'all. Yeah. Back in action. Now I can hydrate. But, uh, yeah. You fish on this one, so I'm fishing it, trying to pluck them off one at a time. fish y'all this morning but that silver and chartreuse is right back at it man I mean just fire marshal bill 
slab, slab, slab. for the water that's starting about eight foot here. What are they? About eight foot. I'm not out of there now. Still a good fish. on top of them. bottom fish, I'm able to hit more fish and not spook them. But that's the ticket guys when you're approaching a brush pile, you don't know the temperament of the fish, you want to start at the top and work your way down, get the fish at the top first. to another tree. That's silver with a little bit of sawtooth flash in it. I tell you, I got I got a bunch of them. I think if you don't have that exact color, I got that exact jig on.
pull back on the same tree again. Silver and chartreuse is <laughs> deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Mm. Just like that, man. Mm. Just plucking them off. Tree to tree. Mm. I spin myself around. Oh, here the stuff. Try to get at a better angle on those fish. They're coming at them from the side. I'm gonna try to approach them from this forward position here. We got a one thirty second off head I'm using. Real small head, so when they want to inhale, they can just suck it in easily. You got a heavy head. Uh, if that fish goes to inhale the jig, you can't just suck it in easy. So. Using a smaller head and, and low wind conditions helps you out a whole lot. Helps you out with your hookups and all of that. So just take all of that in consideration. If the wind is low and you could go with a real, real light jig head, go with a real light jig head. Because that's going to produce. Spotlight, well, not really spotlight. That's the that's the beauty of uh, boat control, man. Being able to position yourself right on the fish, no wind conditions, and work them out of here. Uh, for real, like they just don't want to really just jump on that bite. So every little thing you can do to help yourself out today is, is vital. Holding down and they ain't super aggressive. Mm. Oh, if they do sit down on it, they sit down on it. I'm having to work. But it is worth it this morning. I mean, all oh, good solid fish this morning, man. And I mean, eating that silver chartreuse up. no more than that. Well, this is that first pile I started on. This is one I call first tree. And it's producing. I got a good number of fish out of it so far. Got down to the deeper fish. I'm still working the one up high, which is good. Yep. Smaller fish are down deeper though. Bigger fish are up on top.
direction and we kind of got me all over the place a little bit here you know finagling them out of there It out to him, he came and answered the door. Eating that silver up, man. Crop the fishing 101, y'all. <laughs> Better get with the program. Class is in session. Oh, I ain't made it past three or four piles yet. Solid this morning, man. I mean, good old healthy solid fish. I ain't had a throwback yet. <laughs> God, dog. Man, they just eating that bait up. Drop up, drop up, drop. If I get them on them, they respond. They wake up now. They were kind of dormant this morning. They seem to be getting a little step in their step now. I hadn't even got these fish that are down here on the back side on the bottom. I'll leave y'all alone in a minute. I'm going to hurry up and do something here. Good aggressive bite, man. <laughs> Those fish are out here at this angle, and I pitched over there and let that bait come back through them. Don't nail it. I mean, presentation rules the nation, man. I, I don't know what more to tell you. You know, of course, you gotta, you know, you need them hard hitter hand ties, man. You ain't got them hard hitter hand ties. You ain't gonna be able to do this. Don't try this at home. 
Pork side is at home, but man. But yeah man. Where am I at? It's all over the place. Oh no. Jerry already gone. He's running around. Everything right here. Blue cat on that hard hit hand cut. Huh? Give him a box of little diversity. Time for a color change. I'm going to go with that blue and silver. Let's see what I do with that. Silver do the same thing. Them two colors been deadly for me. And clear water. Two of my favorite clear water colors. That's a good fish, but I got my coolers right. This thing. I got all the coolers right now. The fish one. Yeah, so this might be it right here. These might crop. He already got that on the fall. God, uh, he got that on the fall, y'all. Before I can get down to the ones I was throwing up, he popped. So yeah, it's, it's like, I'm gonna go ahead and buoy this tree too. That's another thing. I can skeptical about it. But I'm Just like I told you, as soon as I put it in there on them, that's a good fish. Ooh, that's a big old crack. In the boat. God, God, God. Look at the size of this crappie. Man, you know why you can't see me? Because that's another slab. <laughs> Dog, man. Ooh, the Lordy, Miss Claudia. I, that's what you know. I just made the call to do this. I said, you know what? I'm having trouble. Let me just regroup and come over here and start from here. And shoot, that's two fish, and number two is a boogaloo. <laughs> God, dog. Uh, yeah, I didn't look at the feed chart, you know. So I'm, I'm just uh, the day on top, both me and you. I got them right here though, I see them, so I'm going to pop all these. I'm dropping back down on them again, y'all, right here. Uh, I get it in their face and try to take it away. Here you come. Mm. Lordy, Miss Cloy. God, dog. Look at the size of these. Oh, God, <laughs> Nothing but slabs. Every last one of these fish is a slab. <laughs> wow. Man. Hey, man. I could do this all day. Eating that, that silver and blue up. I mean, I changed from silver and chartreuse this morning to the silver and blue, and look what it do. Got me another boogaloo. Man, let me go and click this clicker, I think, four more times. I'm out on that silver and chartreuse earth. So 
Yeah, those two colors, Jerry. I mean, I wouldn't be tying them, you know, for no reason. That's what I've been coming with, and that's what they've been, you know, just murdering. Nice little tree, 14 foot of water. The fish are holding at 12, 12 and a half, right on the bottom. And uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I like it. It's making me work and maneuver to get in position and all of that. But when I do get on them, they do go ahead and respond. Got to get right on them and drop it because of this wind. Ended up right on top of her. Just about right there, Jake's into that buoy, so I use that buoy as a reference. Mm -hmm. See where the fish are at. When that wind lets off of me a little bit and I'm able to hold my position better, of course I'm having better success than when I'm fighting the wind and trying to get in position. So a lot of those factors play a part. I knew the wind would lay down. I just kept fishing. And now winds are down and I spotted a few fish here that I'm able to work on. No Mike Webb. Mike Webb was a no-show. Osa came and left with 18 already at 10 o'clock. But the bite was really, really, you know, good. First thing this morning on the very first tree and then I was able to you know, show a lot of how I was presenting the bait, what color, water clarity is good, and then, you know, the wind picked up, but also the bite, you know, they, they're they not just charging out, attacking the bait like before, and it's not as many numbers in this area. So that's a key sign that we beat it up or the fish are just doing their normal transition because I noticed they're a lot deeper, so they may be looking for deeper water. So I may, you know, start fishing the deeper water area for them. But I'm going to fish my way towards Jerry before I make a determination and hit some stumps and stuff that I hadn't fished, you know. And that's one way to, uh, you know, eliminate the factor of I beat these fish up so much over here because I'm going to go fish a different area and fish some different trees. Maybe them fish hadn't saw me, and they'll be more numbers and more aggressive. So you do things like that, it increases your, uh, you know, your catch ratio because you're constantly trying to find new areas and targeting different fish that possibly hadn't seen your jig or anybody's jig. So you know, never get stuck on one pile good to or one tree or one area it's good to have your electronics to where you saved a bunch of locations you can go revisit them it's not a challenge every time you get ready to go uh, find your next spot that you're going to fish i just shoot my beam out you know uh 70 80 feet and go from there you know and if i see fish on you know some trees before i even get there, I'll go ahead and prepare to fish those fish, but that one looks good right there. I'm pulling up on one right there, and it's 
got quite a few fish on it. The wind is pushing me that way. I'm already there. I might as well get ready and drop on them right quick. Turn the camera on, turn it back off. It looks like there's a good possibility I might get some good fish off of this. 18. Get some at the top at 8 feet. Looked at it, didn't touch it. Catfish there at eight foot, didn't want to touch it. So I'm going to go down to those fish at ten. Those are probably the crappie because those were catfish up there at eight was scared and running from the bait. And that ought to be my crappie. Yep, just like I called it, you see, read the tree. Read where you're gonna fish. That's a black crappie. Smart. He's in there in the in the V right in there of that tree. And the catfish are suspending at 8, and the crappie start at 10 and on down. So, simple using your electronics, positioning yourself to be successful, and bam, man, good quality fish. Just like that, man. So, having the right color, having the right presentation, being able to read your electronics, See me, and you know why? Cause that's a slab. <laughs> that's why. God, dog. Blue and silver make them quiver. That's what Fred said. Blue and silver make them quiver. God, dog. Man, that's how I could tell though. He was out by himself. You know those deep fish that I just got through going to. He was he he was with him, but off by himself, looking like looking like a catfish. I said, Nah, I, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you my friend and I'm going to try to <laughs> get real co closely acquainted with you and thank you so much beautiful fish too not a mark on this fish man looks like he ain't never had a scale knocked off god mm -mm -mm. well I know who going to be eating good that red snapper was okay I ate some last night but that ain't <laughs> that ain't <laughs> red snapper is not cropping okay for all you enthusiasts that Wanna, just because the fish look pretty and y'all want to lick your lip, man, that red snapper can't, can't hold a stick to no crop in the head. Man. Come on, man. Ooh! <laughs> oh, God, dog. This big old rascal. I told y'all I was going to get murdered. Man, oh Lord, I don't know, man. Everybody go run the lake. Man, I ain't going nowhere. Don't you ever go nowhere. I ain't left this area. I ain't got to leave this area. I'm not going to leave. Wow. God, oh, my goodness, man. They're rolling up on me. I'm going to leave jokes on this tree. Thank you.
No, he, he, he came from around. Good he did, because now we can both go to the truck in a minute. Because uh, he was telling me to make sure I uh, holler at him before I go to the truck. But she, I left that tree. I'm right away from that tree. That's all I did was leave that tree. And I'm just, you know, like in a straight line towards the bank away from that tree. It's like it was a tree line. It's, it's, yeah. Gotcha. But, it, you know, it, it was, that was another factor that was like making, you know, uh, it a tough fish this morning. Them jokers was, them jokers was, uh, you know, hiding in that junk. Ugh, they, uh, God, that fish all up in the sticks. Get in the boat, God. Goodness, man. I told you, man, them some big old fish down there like that. He barely, the hook came out in the boat. God, oh. mm -mm -mm. Yeah, huh? <laughs> huh? Man, way worth it. Yeah, <laughs> like that dude say. You know why you can't see me? Because that's another slab right there. God, uh, man. And I mean, it's the tree that, you know, I went by and hit it and came off of it and just stayed working it, not not giving up on it. I came at it at a different angle and seen them fish, got the jig in position, and they they like, like, just stop. Don't do nothing, don't jig, don't move, don't twitch, just pause, just be real, real still. Man, shoot. Like it piss him off, like, oh, you just gonna sit right there, huh? <laughs> I got something for you. Stay like that then. I mean, I'm serious. That fish there, I didn't, I had to just hold still. That's what I noticed. Just hold still. If you jig or do anything, he gone. No sporadic movement or none of that. Shoot. Chances of getting bit. Whole lot better. And they right there. Just. And able to drop it on. Oh, <laughs> a small fish. At least they, they responsive now. Like, quickly. I work this and go to the truck. These are the ones I was having trouble with earlier because. Got to turn the camera on, but Turn it right away. Where I got that fish to respond was like I told you. Pull up to the gas pump, see that it's a little ways out, pitch the jig and watch it fall up over. That first bite came from pitching it before I even got there.
Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time staying on mine right now, too. I dropped it right in them. I dropped the dead gun buoy in the brush pile. Trying to throw it past. Using that buoy, that buoy helping. I just dropped the buoy on it. I dropped the buoy right in there. The buoy saved my life. Last night the buoy saved my life. That buoy worked. I got a I got a beeline on y'all now with that buoy. I need to break out that ten footer. Put some more pie y'all on. Dropped that buoy and went to work.
big old fish. Yep. And it's a good pile. Leave these alone though. They starting to act, you know, do that. I'm gonna give you two or three and that's it. Oh, chihuahua. I get to stay in them. Yeah. Just to, oh, it looked like it might be small my flat crop. I had to stay on that fish half an hour to get him to get him. Like it. But they are definitely on this pile. I mean, you make me leave. Ooh. Okay, well, all right. God, oh, that's a white spot. That's why. Mm, well, new technique. Just stay in, stay in there with a bunch of fish. Just keep it in there. Don't leave. Don't, don't give up. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what, yeah. See what these are. Pop first. Blow wind, blow. I ain't gonna play no games with him today. As long as the ice stay good, we're good. It's holding. It's holding.
base of that tree. Right on the bottom of it. One big old piece of black crop. The bottom of the tree. Just working the pile. Right at the base of the tree trunk. to change it but man cannot stop drop sorry camera I didn't show the fish Other one was just like that one. Big old catfish. Got you, you out of the trees with him? You hung up? Black bass or catfish? And that's what I thought. That's why I said let's go on around the corner because if it's a flathead, I, that, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's what I thought these were. I was trying to get over as fast as I can to get some footage. <laughs> But uh, you see what I said when I kept seeing how those fish were moving? Mannerism, that's the next thing you want to learn. If fish are real sporadic and going back and forth and coming back and forth with us, most likely it's catfish, but you know, very seldom gas will do. But mannerism of these fish on these trees out here, that's why I say all oh, these catfish, man, I'm going to try to go on around. Cause, but I knew he was a good op. Can't beat that. You'll see. I'll try to go around. Huh? Yeah, ice and down. Number white, white, white meat. Come on, that's the best eating catfish there is. You told somebody in Louisiana you had one of them, they'll drive in today to come get it. I'll let you come up here. I have to run it past all of them till he decided he ain't gonna go past me. I 
want to leave, but I can't leave. These jokers still feeding on the same pile for over 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 minutes. Been so good to him, I'm going to let you make it. I'm going to pull out, get my buoy, go somewhere else. That was a good little, good little run. That pile that was just too too good. I, I bet I got 15 fish off of that one pile, man. I don't know. You can't see me, cause that's the biggest slab of the day right there. <laughs> I made a run all the way over here and it paid off. I mean, I made a run clear around to the other side of the lake, around this point, and it's only few good marks down there on this spot. It ain't fested up with them, but the marks are worth it. For real. That's very good. I saw one or two more. I don't know if they think it's that one, but I'm going to try to present my bait to those fish and, and fish my way on around. Cause I'd rather be over there where I started at. That more, more piles closer mm -hmm. together, and easier to find, mm -hmm. and more numbers sometimes. Mm -hmm. out of you buddy you don't, you don't want to stay in there somebody a guard somebody took a bite recent fresh bite might as well rescue you man I'm rescuing you I'm doing it for your own good I promise you Mr. Cropper I knowing exactly where that fish was at, even with that thermal climb bothering me, once I got that jig in position, especially with, you know, I could really do it when I got a, a marker like that, you know, sticking up out of that. But that's just jig presentation to get three crappie that were the only three crappie, maybe that were down deep. And, you know, I'm doing that with, I know I said I was gonna, I mean, I was closing. But I was getting ready to leave and this thing looked like it's just, it looked decorated. So, I mean, I'm so sorry. I got to, I got to drop on it. It looked just decorated.
didn't want to see that come through there. I hung my other jig up and I didn't want to sit here and miss dropping on them fish trying to unhang my jig. So I just left that jig hung up and I dropped in there and <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't I couldn't pass that pile up. Yeah, it looked that good. Well I'm leaving that jig hung. I'll try to get it. Now I said I got a fish. But a pole in the water. Dang man. Hey, that got hung up right on a good a good pile. So let me try to get over there to it and get it unhung. I mean it's got some good fish on it. And I don't want to drop my I made this deal. I just got a wrench and a D-ring. I clip that on there, get my jig off almost every time. Not letting that one get away. I can't get in it back. This is one I'm gonna have to grab by the head. This is a bloody mess. Good solid fish. It took a lot to get that fish on top of that pile there. That bait pedal through there. Oh Lord, man. Ah, shit. That's probably was the best fish of the morning. Yes, miss. Find the horses. Thought I stuck it good. Felt good. God. That's a good one, then, y'all.
47. 47? 47. Oh, all right. My clicker had uh, 29. 